Hello, it's Mike Parsons here at Bluegrass with Friends, and I got a request to uh, show you how to play the one, four, five fiddle chord things in the key of A. So uh, here's how it is. These open strings here are an A chord, A and E, right? So if you want to play the four chord, just like in the key of D, you can put one finger down on F sharp here and you have a D chord. And, or you can go over and play the middle two strings. So let's just start with that. A, D is four, and if four is there, then you move up two frets to the five chord. So that's your basic, one basic one, four, five shape, okay? Goes like this. Us down here to the first finger on the G string and the D string. Another one, four, five shape is going to be that one. There's your low A. You can go back to the middle strings. Nobody's business. And then again, the same E we were using before. Nobody's business if I do. Okay. Now here's another one. Starting on this A, the one I started to show you first was adding the F sharp to an A chord. That's a form of a D chord, okay? And then if you simply play the open E and the first finger on the A string, that's a B note. There you have the five chord. So this is really cool because just on these two strings, Without moving around a whole bunch, you can play one, four, five. Okay, so. She drives a limousine, I buy the gasoline. Nobody's business if I do. Down here, nobody's business, nobody's business, nobody's business if I do. All right, so. First finger on both strings is the one. You add the second finger now to the D string. That's another F sharp, and that gives you the four chord. Move that same finger over to the G string up here on a B note. That's the five chord, and then you're back to one. So check this out. So if you're in the key of B, you start here, you could go for your four chord over here for your five chord. Very movable pattern, although the technique of playing one string on one finger on two strings is kind of difficult. I think you get what I'm putting down here. All right, so here's one more thing. We're going to take this a step further because one, four, five are the most used chords in a key, right? A, D, and E, in this case of A. Okay, but now the second most used chords in the key are six and two, okay? So, uh, now if you want, you can count up your alphabet and go, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp is the sixth chord, F sharp minor, and A, B, B is the two chord, right? So, uh, you got to be able to find six and two. So here we go. If this is one, and this is four, and this is five, guess where six is? There is your six. So if you think more about shapes than actual names of chords and use the number system, it's easier because if this is five, then this is six. If this is six, up from there is seven. One more is back to one. All right, and let's take that another place here. If this is one, straight above that two frets, that's the two chord. So here's a song that uses the two chord. Let me see. Now, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Here's 
too. How's about cooking five something up with me? I said, hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe there's two weeks to find us a five back to one? I got a four, roared in a one. I know a spot right over the hill for again. The party pop and a dance and it's free. Two, two, five, five, five. Okay, so now we're going to just go quickly through a one, six, two, five chord progression. All right. So that would be Salty Dog Blues. One. Stand on the corner with a six low down blues, two great big hole in the bottom of my shoes, five. Honey, they could be salty dog. One, six, two, two, five, 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 five. One, six, two, five. Pretty common chord progression. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you have any more questions.